Hey everybody, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. Today, we're looking at ticker symbol APPS. This is a digital turbine. Uh, fun story, fun fact. I did, I had tons of stock around $4, uh, a lot on margin right before the great lockdown. Once we had the announcement of the shutdowns, I had to capitulate. Then the stock ran to $100, typical. I did make a slim profit, but I missed out on so much. Um, I had been charting this one out for a while. There was a cup and handle chart on the monthly, which led to another cup and handle, which led, it's just a big cycle. Anyway, I have restarted purchasing ticker symbol apps, but this it's very, it's continuously small amounts over long periods of time. And it's gonna be years until I have a position that I, I'm happy about right now. I probably have less than 10 shares uh, and it's going to, it's just a dollar cost average. Cause I think we are on our way down into a consolidation period and I'm going to show you why. So uh, this is our daily chart, tons of gap downs, brutal all the way from a hundred back down to $3. If you remember the dot com bubble, I don't. Um, Amazon went from $6 to $100 back down to like six, I believe. Insane. I'm not saying this company is going to do that. I don't even know if they have this type, the CEO or the C-suite to do that. But I just want to show you what the stock price could be based on today's numbers. Uh, but I do think in the long term we'll see uh, consolidation. So uh, if you know me and my content, I look at the bigger picture. <clears throat> uh, this this uh, square that you see here, this is my accumulation over several year zone you can see it went, the stock literally went round trip from 97 cents, 95 cents to over a hundred bucks. And I think it's going to be down here for years. <clears throat> and I'm hoping to buy shares here and there for the next several years. So um, there's a lot of scribbles on this because I have been just following this for a long time. Um, you can see the stock, it, you would think looking at this momentum, it's ready to rip up. However, look at this RSI. The strength is abysmal. It's going down. I think the stock price is going to continue to go down. Money flow, money is exiting even more. Relative momentum, it's going to the bottom of the barrel. You can see it's at 28 right now, and it looks like it's going to get lower. So just my opinion. Let's uh, run my calculations here. They are not profitable. However, this is what you want to see in sales. You want to see share or uh, sales ramping up. You do not want to see this. This is dilution. Back in 2019, there was 81 million shares available. 2023, there's 99 million shares available. Not cool. That's 18 million shares in four years added to the pool. Earnings per share. This is everyone's worst dream going down. Again, that's kind of that aligns with my narrative of why I think the stock is going to continue to go down. Uh, let's pull up my calculation here. So I used to work at a small cap, micro cap company. Uh, we had financial regulators come in. Every $100 million in sales equaled up to $1 in uh, stock price. And any market cap over $1 billion gets included in that calculation. This market cap is not over a billion right now, so it's not going to be added. So we're going to take our sales of $572,380,000. They lose 197 million, 650,000. Scary. 197 million, 560, 650, 650. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to go add the um, cash and debt, but really quick. Every 394 million they spend, they get 572 million. That's good. But they're just getting raked. Just getting raked. Um, so in the last quarter that they reported, they every $99 million they spend, they make 142. Um, not bad margins. Okay, they have $49 million in cash, which is actually their lowest going back to even 2022. So not, not a good look. Plus 49 million, 470,000. Shoot. I messed that up. Let me redo that. I'm just going to start over. Apologies. I didn't mean to fat finger that. 
We're going to take 572. Every, I'm just going to shorthand it. 572 million 0.38 minus 197.65. Okay. And they have 54, or I'm sorry, 49 plus 49.47. Total debt is 374.03. Wow, that is not good. Divided by 91 million. Seven. This is a 50 cent stock based on my calculations that I typically do. That is horrid. So again, I do think the stock is gonna go lower. Will it get as low as 54 cents? Has it ever gone to 54 cents? <laughs> you bet your bottom dollar, pretty dang close. 50, let's, 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 uh, let's, let's get this here. The lowest the stock price has ever gone, 56 cents. And right now we're looking at a calculated price target of 54 cents. That is insane. Okay, so we've looked at that. I mean, this is just, and it's still, it's in a free fall, in my opinion. I don't think we're going to see a reversal anytime soon. Um, it's going to go in cycles. I think, it, you know, the next big cycle is going to be 2030, 2030, um, where we're going to see a similar type of cycle that we saw in 2021. Um, and this is based off, if you watch my most popular video, You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, it, it captured the dot-com bubble, the Great Depression, the Great Lockdown it had it. So 2030 is when we'll see our next euphoric, insane market for equities. Uh, Bitcoin and crypto is generally every four years, essentially. Uh, and then sometimes when the crypto cycle aligns with the uh, market cycle, the equity cycle, we go insane. So, yeah. And then you have to factor in having and all that fun stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, what are institutions doing? It says institutions own 64% of this stock. I'm going to say institutions own less than 64% of that stock. And this is newer data I'm going to show you. Institutions own 70%. Not bad. Vanguard BlackRock. Vanguard increased their position last month. Vanguard increased their position last month. Oh my God, they're going to be in a world of hurt. Goldman Sachs decreased. Pine Ridge started a position. Exited a position. Exit. Man. It's going to be a long, drawn-out fall from grace, in my opinion. However, I'm adding, so if it does have a quick snapback, at least I'll have some shares to enjoy along the ride, but I don't, I don't, I don't, the RSI, momentum, money flow, our relative momentum, everything looks like it is exhausted. So again, I'm adding for five, 10 years down the road, I'm just dollar cost averaging here and there when I have some dollars laying around. Um... I do want to see how this acts in the 2030 bull run. So, yep, I am starting a long position. I own less than 50 shares for sure right now. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, if you made it this far, consider hitting subscribe. Consider hitting the like. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Am I bananas cuckoo crazy? Uh, you can find me on StockTwits as well, and you could see me raising raising the horn raising the alarms on this one back when it was a dollar so yeah appreciate you for watching take care